What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another phenomenal video. Today, we are going over the best graphic settings, best controller settings, best, best sensitivities, best everything. We're going over all the settings, all the best. If you want graphic settings, they'll be in the beginning of the video. If you want my controller settings, like sensitivity and all that, it'll be in the second part of the video. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into it. So first things first, starting at gameplay, these are all of my settings. They're not really important. The only really important ones that I say are our X shield icon, so you know they have which level shield they have, which helps a little bit. But the most important one is damage numbers. Put stacking on if you put floating, it doesn't even it, you have to add up stuff in your head. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Stacking very, very good. It, you could rock both if you want. I wouldn't recommend it because then you have too much going on in your screen. Rock stacked, it, it, it's what I prefer, it's what a lot of people prefer. Everything else, auto sprint is a must. Double tap to sprint off, toggle on this, incoming damage feedback. 3D and again you can pause whenever you want this isn't extremely important but this is colorblind mode Tritinopia I have Tritinopia on with subtitles because sometimes some operators or some heroes say say like something like great says someone's looking at me maybe you don't hear it but you'll read it so that's why I use that subtitle says normal and everything else is just off off and off and now we're gonna go to the video settings which is what the most people want I rock on borderless window you could play in full screen you do get like 10 more frames really not that much more I play in borderless window because when i stream i like tab off and stuff and i just tab off a lot when i'm watching video or playing music stuff like that aspect ratio again native resolution native go all native brightness i have 50 percent this game is bright it's perfectly fine it's no worries Field of view, we have 110 FOV. I maxed it all the way up. It helps me out a bunch. It's really, really good. Especially since console has it too. Very important. FOV ability scaling, disable it. It's gonna mess with your aim because if you pop a stimmy with octane, and it takes you out of the FOV and it's gonna change how you look. It changes your sense fields. Just disable it. We don't need that. Sprint view shake minimal. Get the hell out of here. V-Sync disabled. Video reflex, I have enabled and boost. Adaptive resolution, I have it zero. Anti-aliasing, I don't use that. Texture streaming budget, I have it two to three. I, use, I had it eight before, but it was really no need. So I put it at low two to three, it works perfectly fine. Texture filtering by linear, ambient inclusion disabled, sun shadow low, low, disabled, disabled, disabled. And model detail, I have on medium because I want to see what the hell Gibby looks like with that thick boy in Loba. Mm. That's really the only thing that I have on medium. Everything else is pretty much low besides texture streaming, which is on low, but it's not the lowest setting. Texture streaming is on low and model detail is medium. So everything else, you can pause it again if you want. I'll scroll down really quickly. And uh, yeah, let's get into the audio settings. Again, for audio, this is all relative to what you're hearing, but I maxed it out because I like having everything at 100. We're gonna get into the controller settings of the video. So button layout, this is my button layout right here on the side. I do play claw, so that's why, again, I, I had a scuff, kept breaking, and then I went broke. So if you can't see this bottom one, L2 and R2, L2 and R2 are my ultimate. So L2 and R2, because I, I shoot with my L1, I shoot with the top buttons on the PlayStation controller. That's why I don't shoot with the bottom triggers, I shoot with the top buttons, which is why I have ultimate on that. But these are my binds, use them if you want. I think they work perfectly fine because I play claws, so it helps me out a lot. But my stick layout is default again because I play claw. Tap to use and reload is very important. Crouch button toggle, it's a must. Aim button toggle, aim button hold, excuse me, that is a must. Survival slot button on. Trigger dead zones, none. Menu cursor speed. I just have it at a speed where, where you're ready. So when you're loot boxing, you know exactly where to go in a very short amount of time. You know how to get there very quickly. I do use advanced look controls, so we'll go over those really quickly. So for dead zone, we're at five percent on these outer threshold one percent response curve seven we'll go over the per optic settings real quick so these are all of them you can pause it real quick they kind of just go up as the site gets bigger so now we have the rest so yaw speed and pitch speed so yaw speeds at 375 and pitch speed is at 280 and so you have so everything kind of lines up when you're looking this way and this way and this way and this way and this way everything's very smooth on these settings so everything else is at zero and on the next ads yaw speed and pitch speed ads yaw speed i wanted 115 but i literally just couldn't get it so i put 114 and i put ads pitch speed at 91 i wanted 90 but 91 works perfectly fine it's perfectly fine everything else is at zero down here and then target compensation is on have it off you're a monster they even say this is not recommended to disable it do not don't don't do that 
melee target compensation, keep them on. For the love of God, keep them on. So these are my advanced look control ALC settings that I use personally. These, you know, the bottom three, movement, then zone, and vertical look and vibration. I have everything on the lowest setting because I really don't need that. Mouse and keyboard, I don't use that, John. I'm ass on it. Yeah, these are my settings. These settings work perfectly. They work amazing for me. I have a 2070 Super on mine. I have 32 gigs of RAM. So my computer is not crazy good, but it, it, it does enough. I get like in game while streaming, I get like 140, 160 while streaming. So when I'm not streaming, getting the high 180s and stuff like that. And right now I have 240, but I'm in the menu. So yeah, that's that. So if you like my settings, if you're going to use them, give them a try. Let me know what you think. Comment down below and make sure to like, subscribe, because it helps me a lot, man. We're going to close the 900 mark. We're going to get there real soon. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Day, 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 deuce.